Okay, the next pair we're looking at for our on our four majors analysis for this Friday, the 11th of February, is standing against US dollar. Uh, CTC up in front of us on six time frames. Let's have a look at the daily. Okay, what happened yesterday? Well, uh, BOE decided not to raise the interest rates. Uh, a lot of people, I think, were questioning if it was time to, and um, BOE decided not to. So we wait. Um, what did it do to the market? Not a hell of a lot. In fact, very indecisive just by looking at that candle. So I've mentioned before what we want to do is see a decision candle and act on a decision candle. Okay, this decision, uh, this indecision candle comes around the 1600. We've seen it just testing the upside of that. Be aware that we're still in an uptrend though. Okay, there's this major trend line to the upside. Um, so I'll just put that in so you guys can see it. Always important to look at trend direction. Okay, so what are we looking for for the rest for today? Well, Asian market's definitely taken it further down, um, and it's trading below a previous support area, smack bang around that area there. Okay, uh, oh, let me get rid of that line so you go. So there, these two candles here, a lot of support there. Two days of solid support, a third day of trading above it. We want to see if this pairs to remain bullish. Then obviously we want to see it trading above this level here. Okay, it can go down as far as that because we've seen previous support in the past at 1600. But ideally, we want to see it trading higher. Uh, there might be an opportunity for shorting uh, to get some pips to the downside to this level at 1600 during the course of today. Um, but on a long-term time frame, CTC is positive for this, so we're still looking for potential upside movement. Okay, all your intraday traders can capitalize on moves to the downside on this time frame, but overall we're looking for further swings to the upside. Okay, um, you can see the erraticness yesterday quite clearly on an hourly chart. You can see um, the pair on a number of occasions dipping its feet below a, a, a resistance, uh, sorry, a support area at one stage, just about the 1605 mark. A lot of sparks, a lot of wicks, a lot of indecision prior to the news, and then a move to the upside on news, taking out a lot of positions, thinking we're going long, only for them to be dragged back down into the the abyss, I have to call it. So a lot of erraticness creeping in here. Okay, a lot of false breakouts, a lot of noise. Um, so ideally, what we want is a genuine, uh, a genuine candle, a genuine uh, uh, proof of uh, of of, of uh, indication of where we likely to go to coming forward so ideally what we want to do is just to get out of all that is to see a daily a definite break below uh, 1605 in this case um, but just be, be aware that we're now trading quite close to a trend line on our daily time frame so anything getting uh, any shorting opportunities or any sparks below that 160 the 1600 mark was quite close so be aware of that okay so this one of you personally oof. I'd be I'd be tempted but shouldn't be because of all this erraticness. Okay. So in my eyes I'm gonna stay away from sterling today. Um and then just wait my time, buy my time uh, for next week. Hey guys, that's sterling against US dollar. I'll be back next with the US dollar against Swiss Frank. Take care.